the name of the cushion side of a billiard or pool table? Bank. Correct. Sam, what noun, beginning with L, means to be remembered throughout history? Um, legacy. Correct. Ross, what does the text acronym IDK stand for? I don't know. Correct. Rachel. Bank. What is the name of the financial institution that accepts and withdraws deposits of money? Bank. Correct. Sam, what is your legacy? My, uh, uh, wow. Uh, the time I bought a violin drunk? No, uh, the correct answer is nothing. You will have and bequeath nothing of any significance in this world. Ross, what do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. Correct. Rachel, the land alongside or sloping into a river or lake is known as a what? Bank. Correct. Sam, why do you waste your time making videos? Um, because I enjoy it. Um, Incorrect. The correct answer was for attention. Ross, what is 84 divided by 7? 9, maybe? Close enough. Rachel, what now? Bank! Correct. Sam, why do you want to be remembered beyond your own lifetime? Because otherwise... What was the point of all this? I'll accept that answer. Ross. Bank! The performance of the Bukaki is when... And your time is up. You have managed to bank 500 pounds. But who has had all their cards handed to them? Whose role in this universe is overestimated? Whose 15 minutes of fame are about to come to an end? It's time to vote off. Sorry, are, are all of those me? Yes. Actually, can we... And cut there. Sam, okay. do you genuinely believe that you will make anything that even resembles a legacy? You. You. <laughs> Why don't you just accept that you'll die? <laughs> Shoot. No one will know if they have a legacy or not, but you, Sam. Your 15 minutes are over and you are the weakest link. And oh, I've already forgotten you. August made me realise that, you know what, I'm not alone. Not anymore, anyways. And just pause here, and back to... Remember when it was like September? Se September, because it's it's September now. This month is going to be a tale of two halves. I'm spending some of the last two weeks on holiday with my family. Shout out to mum and dad for taking me. I will link their channel in the description below. And the second half will be my big return to Bristol. Back to uni. Finally. I will be starting my second year of university and experiencing Freshers Week. Round two. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm also hoping to start work on a short film because take five's the chart. Five is the goal. Take five. Take take fives a crowd. <laughs> what is this month gonna be? Look at the bell tower. Port Myron is in Wales. No offence, Wales. It is such a beautiful part of the UK. It at times looks like Atlantis, or at least I, what I imagine Atlantis would look like if it was dry and real, like a dry, real, real Atlantis. We're staying inside the village in a cottage called The Battery. I imagine it's called The Battery because of some of the room sizes. <laughs> We're having a, like a writer's retreat, taking a chance to write stuff, get stuff done, plan, whatever it takes to make the art. Damn, that's pretentious, wow. Speaking of pretentious, I'm going a week without the internet because I need a break and this is a great time to do that. Will I make it through the week? Will it change my time management skills and make me occupy my time more carefully? Will my internet friends forget who I am? 
That's for history to decide. <sighs> my life is my own. Is it? Day one without my phone. I keep finding myself kind of reaching towards my left pocket, which is where my phone is normally. So I'm getting the vibe that I might be a little, little bit addicted. Port Myron was made famous by a good TV show called The Prisoner. And I mean, I've not actually seen it. I'm spending a lot of my time asking whether things are references to the show or just, just weird things. Is that from the show? No. Is this from the show? Yes. Number six, except it's not a number, it's a free table. I have no idea what that means. When we arrived, we went to the reception and there was a microwave on the table, which I of course assumed was part of the show. I took a photo of it on my film camera. It turns out it's just a microwave. It's got, it's got nothing to do with the show. It's just a... Why, why was there a microwave? <laughs> no internet and I actually felt ridiculously okay with it today like I didn't feel compelled to use the internet I didn't find myself reaching my pocket anymore without internet I feel kind of free like having to tweet and remind people you're alive is such a chore was G was Jesus on the show was Jesus on the no. my main thing for keeping social media right now is to stay in touch with friends I don't miss social media I miss the people maybe I should just check my phone see what's going on no no Oh, that's... No. Day four without internet and uh, it's crazy. I feel like I've got my ambition back kind of um, and I don't know, I, I can't even remember what it was I, I stopped using. It was the internet, but I, 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 it's almost as if I can't remember what the internet's called. <laughs> Do you want to go for like a drink sometime or maybe like... I have a boyfriend so <laughs> the doors that way so that's just the wardrobe I've 
return to uni and I feel motivated to do uni properly this year. I feel like I took the first year doesn't count phrase a little bit to the extreme. Basically, for some subjects, the grades you get in the first year don't make a difference to your overall grade. And therefore, you can be a bit more relaxed when it comes to the first year. Hello everyone, September PMS. This is Sam's shampoo every day. Value. To many people, including myself, this became an excuse to not really work very hard on exams or coursework because as long as you pass the overall year, it doesn't really matter what grade you get. But now I'm second year and I've had my summer off, I am really hyper aware uh, of my habitual laziness that started to sneak into other areas of my life, such as my social life, my filmmaking, uh, and my headspace. <laughs> okay, I've read this book on concentration. He publishes peer-reviewed papers. His goal was to do five, the year before he did two, and doing deep work, he managed to do nine. He just put it all over. Uh, I'm gonna take this year so much more seriously now. I want to prove to myself that I'm still a hard-working and driven person. We did the, the Hogwarts quiz, and I came up as a Hufflepuff. Nothing wrong with being a Hufflepuff, but I should be a Slytherin. Not because of the, the hair. Not all Slytherins. <laughs> Not all Slytherins. Another thing I did wrong is that I decided that you could only ever do fun stuff or productive stuff. You couldn't do both. I think balance is something I really need to learn. Being able to do eight hours of work in one day is more than enough. And then being able to relax the rest of it. Hello. But I mean, I guess myself, it's really hard to balance being productive and doing something fun and then I'd consequently burn myself out all the time and I wouldn't have the energy to do productive stuff and i just kind of get in this vicious cycle. Do you have any thoughts on that? It's true. We were very like, <laughs> we were very like rush nation. Exactly. I met a lawyer on my work experience that trained in one of the Magic Circle law firms in London mm. and she didn't sleep for three days straight, she was just working in the office. Oh she my like, god. And it gets obsessive and then, and then it's like an addiction. Yeah. Hello, my dude. Nice, my dude, nice. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude, nice. I just wanted to make, I just want to make it look nice. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, like, And then it gets receptive, and then, and then it's like an addiction. Yeah. Hi, Sam. Hi, I've been thinking about it for a while, and I can't remember the 21st night of September. It's all been a bit of a blur this month, but the moments I have been able to capture have two trends, either motivation or relaxation. September saw the return of my productivity, and I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I'm back to the motivated person I was, the Slytherin, not the Hufflepuff. At Port Myron, I spent a day just writing a film plan, brainstorming ideas, deciding what my next steps into filmmaking would be. And then on the other days, I managed to properly zone out of all the chaos and mundanity of life. In doing so, I became more grateful for the hands I've been dealt. University is such an exciting opportunity, and doing it in a city that I love makes it all the better. The two sides of this month, productivity, rest, they seem contrasting, but in September, I began to treat them equally. 
Overworking is obsessive and an addiction, and taking too many breaks is counterproductive. And September was the month where I learned the real value of balance. And that's September's theme, balance. Well, that's great, Sam, but why don't you just come tell me that in person? You're literally next door. Because it's original. original. Okay, it, okay, it's different, and I'm trying to do it ending different. It's diff. It's just... Okay... Okay... That's the end of the show, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. See you next month. Wow! That superseded my ex- that? Wow! That superseded my ex- Wow! That superseded my expectations. Wow! Wow! <laughs>